Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Campaign on Realism Difficulty. Today we're going to be doing the mission End of the Line on Realism Difficulty. So we'll start with the uh, pre-mission briefing kind of thing. Uh, yeah, restart, realism, and let's go. It's about time. Been waiting for your call. They caused a hell of a mess in Moscow. Was it worth it? Adler managed to get the list of sleeper agent names, despite himself. He's got balls, I'll give him that. Bell did well. Seemingly. But I think that team is getting too comfortable. They're acting like they know who they're dealing with. Perhaps. Turns out, one of those sleeper agents is tied to Operation Greenlight. Theodore Hastings. He's a nuclear engineer based out of Salt Lake City. And you believe Hastings is the one he'll activate? Exactly. Total surveillance is already underway. It's only a matter of time before he leads us straight to Perseus. Alright. So this is going to be a little um, briefing sort of thing. Uh, you might have seen in the main menu that I have completed every single mission in the game. Now, uh, that is for a reason. Uh, this game has... Uh, quite different from the call of, usual Call of Duty style. This game has two different endings. And first, we're going to be doing the Ashes to Ashes ending, which is the... Recent movements of Theodore well, Hastings. bad well ending, I, I guess. Cuba. Both endings are pretty gray, in Lake my opinion. A vacant we're going to be doing the Ashes to Ashes mission first, because I feel that's not really... No you know what? Gosh, I'll no let way. them finish. Twenty bucks speaking. to anyone who can bring him down before me. Who? Castro or Perseus? Whoever. We are not gonna let him move this nuke inside the states. It's time to take down Perseus once and for all. Team, wrap up any unfinished business. Once we strike, there's no turning back. All right, that's it. Briefing over. All right, as I was saying, first we're going to be doing the Ashes to Ashes mission, which is not really the, which is the bad ending, and I feel it's not really the actual ending which the devs actually wanted people to get, because honestly that mission is, that mission's too easy. That, that's like, that's like the easy way out kind of mission. All right, so uh, enough of that, that's like two whole videos on that side of the spectrum. So, uh, let's start. End of the line. Yep, 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 yep. Examine evidence. No need. You can do that at your own time. Launch mission, and let's go. Hastings left Salt Lake City. We tracked his movements all the way to Cuba. We have to assume Perseus moved the nuke there. Langley believes Castro could help Perseus smuggle it into the U.S. in exchange for a peek at the hardware, of course. That isn't gonna happen. What's the plan? The last read we have on Hastings came from 30 miles south of Havana. We suspect Perseus is using an abandoned compound there to hold the nuke. They're working under the radar, so expect moderate security. I say we smash and grab. Parachute in, grab the nuke, sky hook out. And what if the nuke isn't there? It's there. The only reason Perseus needs Hastings in Cuba is to prepare it for arming and detonation. There you have it. Hudson will arrange our exfil while we're en route. If everyone's ready, let's move out. All right. Um, this mission doesn't really have any segments or parts to it. It's, well, it's kind of like a full-on assault type mission. And the weapons you are given initially are the LW3 Tundra and a M1911 pistol. We're gonna swap that out pretty quick. Here we see Adler's late. LW3 no, Tundra. Adler should be checking in right about. Park, we're in position. We're not allowed to move Copy yet. Uh, we're moving to flank. Um, yeah, there we go. All right. So this first section is gonna be a primarily sniping section. The other, the other section, the other segments or the other encounters, you can well. You could use any other weapons that you would like, but uh, here it's it's best to use a sniper. So right over here, you'll see a lot of people. 
that was a, that was a pitiful shot. Uh, all right, so let's use the left shift uh, technique to snipe all of them. And there'll be a couple of MGs, machine gun nests, on the second floor. Yeah, second floor. What you're gonna have to do is aim for their head, and that'll be an insta hit. Sometimes when you aim for their body, that'll hit the that'll hit that railing sort of thing, and it'll act as a body shot. Which no, actually no, it would just like graze them, so that would be a hit marker. Even a body shot kills. So even for these snipers, you see these uh, terrace railings that will block your shot. So you want to aim for their head, and that'll take care of them. Right, so there are two MGs. There's actually there's two snipers as well. Um, yeah, this dude. This guy doesn't have railings, so a body shot should do. Stand up here, and you can just about see this dude. Aim for his head and take him out. Alright, so at this point, you're gonna have to move up, pull out your pistol, and grab this M16. This will be my secondary weapon uh, for quite, a, for like, you know, most of the level. Alright, just, mm, this first part's basically a full-on sniping section. Just methodically and slowly take them out. There is no hurry. There's still... The way you know the area is clear is when all your allies just stop shooting, like... Like, right about now. So when they stop shooting, what you need... Oh yeah, by the way, you should, uh, use these pillars as um, cover. They're really good cover, even though they don't really look like it. Anyways, uh, you uh, once your allies stop shooting, you'd want to move somewhere around here near the pond, popping smoke. That's the first... Entrance wave. Ooh, 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 we're getting a bit shot. Not a problem. Not too much damage. Just uh, get back to your piece of cover, get back to the pillar, and keep on smoking them down. He ran. I'll go take someone else. All right. Uh, keep poking. Keep dealing with them. There is an MG nest at the center of the building. I, you might have seen it already. And the second floor MG, that one also gets a second gunner. So again, shoot for their head, and they die. And yeah, there we go. That's the MG. There we go. There's also a rocket launcher right there, which you could use to clear this center... Oh, this uh, center entrance. This entrance out, because the enemies sometimes like to concentrate themselves in large groups so using a rocket launch could really do some you know a lot of damage and there we go there's the third sniper okay no 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 what's not that that's that bad all right oh come on you're pivoting your gun all right yeah okay even for him do the headshot technique because the sandbags do uh, give him some cover Now most of the enemies are clear, but you still see your ally shooting meaning there's someone still just Around they're, they're just hiding uh, Don't move up yet. All right. There he is Yeah, they stopped shooting move up. There's gonna be one more wave mm. Come on spawn in yeah, there we go. They're, they're, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, ooh, ooh. Yep, there we go. There he is. Um, just slowly and methodically take him out. You're not supposed to rush this section anyway. Rushing this is gonna get you killed. All right, that's your dialogue cue that this encounter is done. Captain, uh, move your men out the back. Or, <laughs> don't give it, I don't remember what. That, that dialogue cue is, you know, is your cue to move in. Now, pull out your M16, and this will be our, well, now, primary weapon. Uh, indoors. All right, so, stop spreading right about here. Uh, stop crouching as well. There'll be one dude over here. Take him out, that'll be two over here, so crouch for this. Yeah, there we go, done. Three dudes in this room. 
Now this will be a small scripted sequence. The scientist will move out and boom, boom. Is everyone all right? Y yes, Bell Park. Yes, Park. We're all right. The mine was ten feet away. Ten feet? No, that's too close. Hundred feet away. How about that? Uh, all right. So this is a. You gotta, you gotta diffuse this. Mine remember, diffused. if you remember, um, Modern Warfare 2019 had a similar thing where you had to diffuse a bunch of booby traps with grenades and stuff. So it's similar to that, just slowly inch your way close to them. Once the disarm option comes, just disarm them. Or you could choose to just shoot them, that's, that's also very viable. The explosion isn't too... Ambush! And once she says ambush, just run back. So just defuse the last one and run back. Grenade! Deal with them, there's usually around two to three people. Uh, the second guy is just hiding. Take him out, and I guess we got two people this time. All right, yeah, all right. Um, there's there's a secret room. You're supposed to move through that side, but there's a sort of secret armory room type thing. In this direction, you'd have to fight two more guys this day, but it's it's worth showing, I guess. Okay, this is one, and there's one inside. Hmm, I usually get him before it closes. Uh, alright, so... There's gonna be a surprise when we open it. Not really a surprise. Okay. So yeah, uh, sadly, this room has a lot of stuff, but sadly it doesn't have any ammo for the, uh... Like, like ammo in general. It doesn't have an ammo crate. But you can pick up ammo for the, um... Whatchamacallit? The Tundra. I I don't know if it just takes the rifle ammo or is there some other Tundra rifle here, but usually it gets replenished at uh, in this room, so that's why I'd like to go in this room every time. And why I'd like the Tundra to be... Uh, not refueled, I was about to, I was about to say refueled. Uh, tundra with full ammo, that's, uh, that's a bit better, uh, is because the next section we're going to be explicitly using that. There's lots of rocket launchers in the next section, and you don't want to be going too close to them. Alright, so you could go down the other way, that's a bit more safer, you've already disarmed it, but... Oh well. What's a little mine gonna do? <laughs> It'll be funny if this just pops up and blows my face as I say that. Alright, so, alright, you already see one of the rocket dudes there. Yeah. He just standing there. Alright, so what you want to do right now is go to this pillar and just book it book it back now what that does is it acts as a cue for your teammate okay oh boy back up back up a bit it acts as a cue for your teammates to move up what happens when they move up is that most of the enemy fire is concentrated in there towards the front so even if the only stray bullets are going to come this way there's not going to be any there's not going to be any concentrated fire coming your way now, there's gonna be one more rocket launcher. Okay, he's still not there yet. Th there we go. That's that's what I was talking about. Those railings. Yeah, they look like they're transparent. They look like they're supposed to go through, but they don't. Slowly take them out. There's usually one more rocket launcher that spawns to the side over there. And that is usually bad. Alright, so... Since there are just distracted with my teammates over there, we can slowly and methodically take them out. There's one over here. Uh, not really in a good position to take them out. And one more reason you want them to be distracted up front is sometimes the enemies try to advance to you, get up close and personal, and get up all on your grill with you. And that's bad if your teammates are where I'm standing because, well, they're closing in on you, not on your teammates, and at that point you're pretty much dead. So you don't want that happening. Once the fighting stops, it's usually done. Um, there's usually a second rocket. You know what? You know what? I, I, I'm done. <laughs> I, I, you know what? There's supposed to be a second rocket launcher there? I, I don't know at this point. Anyways, there'll be one spawning in from that room with a shotgun. Just uh, put a put a put a bullet in his head. That'll do fine. Yep. All right. Shotgun at least. And this door is a bit 
glitchy, I, I guess. I can literally just close it and Lazar just open. Yeah, it's a bit of a weird door. Two people bust out over there. And you can do what I did and miss both of them together. They both have shotguns, so you may not... You may want to, you know, shoot them and not miss your shot. Now, just a word of advice. All right, anyways, so now we're going to have to access this computer. Uh, camera system. And just keep changing hey, feeds. Hey, behind the counter. Thanks, Park. Moving. Yep, and then we see a bunch of dead bodies. And here oh, we go. Uh, we have eyes in the nuclear device. Yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Someone's killing the scientists. Oh, someone's killing the scientists. Oh, I wonder who uh, who is killing the scientists. Oh, I wonder Second who's killing the scientists. Let's move. All right, so there's gonna be no enemies here. That that's just a scripted event there. Just don't mind it. Just go over here. Plant the explosive. Now I've actually not tested if this explosive can actually kill you. But just stay back, you know. Uh, Adler, you'd want to stay. You, you'd want to stay back from an no explosive charge. It's, to uh, take these two out. All right, so there'll be two people here. Take them out. And the next room, you want. You, you don't want to enter the next room right away. Actually, don't enter until the whole fight's done. Stay right around over here. There'll be people entering in from over here. There we go. That's one. Two, that's three. Four, and we one over there. Five. You see, that's it. I swear, if there's one more, I'm losing it. Uh, pretty much clear. You can shoot this projector, by the way. It it fries and blows up. All right. Uh, it seems to be clear. All right, move over here. There'll be a couple of Molotovs you can pick up. Just uh, pick them up for safe measure and pull out your sniper and take these snipers out really quickly. Oh, uh, wait, where's, there's another one. Ah, oh, there we go. There he is. And there he is. Alright. There's actually a, a challenge slash achievement for saving one of the scientists by killing the snipers before they because the scientists get shot. I've already gotten it, so it doesn't pop up, so I'm not sure if I did it right or not, but... You know, kill the snipers for your own snake first, then we can see the ch challenges. And yeah, there'll be a couple of people down this uh, little corridor. Keep sniping them. Yep. And, uh, what, uh, you could, you could keep the M16 if you want, but what I usually do is, uh, re take, uh, replace it with the Type 63. And get get ammo for both. So you have this, and you have this. All right, cool, good enough. Now uh, you you usually want to check all angles before moving in. Some of them have shotguns down there, so that, that ain't good. Have your sniper. Even now, just have your sniper. The Type 63 will come in later. A few people will move in from over here once you get here. Oh, there he is. Well, that was a bit too close for me, but oh well, we managed it. Mm. Yeah, there he is. There's usually three of them here. Mm, I think, yep, it's done. Now, the next section, that corridor, has an MG nest. A fortified MG nest, so... Don't, don't meander around too much. You, you see that hole? Sprint right for it. Really Just sprint right for it. Right for it. And this room has two mines as well. To just catch you off guard, you know? So don't go too close to it. Stay around here. And... Yep. Okay, yeah, that's a lot of fire coming our way. That's a lot of fire coming our way. Okay, that's too close. <laughs> All right, so your allies actually decimate everyone in this corridor, except for the dude with the big gun, except for the MG. So, this, 
Yep, he's still looking. What you want to do is uh, flush him out real quick. Um, Molotov that area quickly. And it usually gets him. Fine, we'll get him the other way. Plot your Type 63 out. Uh, slowly move towards these mines and uh, disarm them. And now you can... Yeah, uh, well... Plaster him with a full mag. I didn't expect to do that. Uh, he's usually he usually hangs back here. Uh, he doesn't move up too much. But, oh well. Now we move in this uh, bit of a scripted full scripted sequence. Uh, yeah, we'll just canvas room. Pick up these health stems. I never really use them, but well, you could find a use for it. Pick up this green light intel and. Uh, yeah, and there's a bit of dialogue. Just to reverse engineer the detonation codes. They give him full access to green light. What? Are you telling me Perseus can detonate multiple nukes in Europe? Yes, Bar. So yes. Sorry. Hastings, stay with us. How many green light devices can Perseus detonate with those codes? Well, uh, he one, two, three, four, five. All of them. How well that works. <laughs> He'll wipe out half of Europe. Blame it all on the USA. Yep, yeah, Park, you could have just counted that, but I guess uh, all of them as well are a good answer. Now, don't want- you don't want to move in too fast. Okay, uh, this is exactly what you shouldn't do. Uh, <laughs> uh this is awkward. Hold up. Are we one pushing through over there? Ah, Hold up. All right, there we go. Out of the animation. All right, all right, all right. There was a bit goof up on my part. You usually don't want to move too fast out of that room, or you'll be stuck in a um, lowered weapon animation like that. I was gonna warn everyone not to do it, but uh, goofed up a bit. All right, pull out your Type 63. There's usually no one in this room. I don't know what he's doing here. But whatever. Alright, go up here. Sometimes there's a couple of enemies spawning down there. At times, he can shoot a- there's a rocket launcher dude down there. Yeah, that one which you just heard. And at times, you can just out of RNG, you can just straight up die in this section. So, just watch out for that. Uh, alright, so, over here, this is basically a holding section. You have to hold your ground over here. So, basically get behind these crates and just sit here. Most enemies can most enemies can shoot you. Or will be too uh, distracted by the two allies you have in front of you to actually care. And most of them shoot up at the balloon either way, so you're good. You know what? Think I'm ready for that drink now. Pull out your sniper and uh, get ready. Once that smoke is done, you have people moving in from there. So you can snipe as many of them as possible while they're en route to your position. So that thins them out a bit. Alright. Now that's the. Alright. If you take a bit too much damage, just prone over here. Just prone over here, no one can get you. Once you're good, get back up. Boy, I just shot you in the face, dude. Yeah, as you can see, most of them just don't even mind you here. So, just don't worry about it. Alright, there'll be three RPGs coming in. One there, one here, and one center. I'm buying. Now that's something worth fighting. Alright, at least we got that spawn, right? Alright, now your AC-130 is coming in to assist you. As soon as the prompt comes, click it. Because there'll be a whole lot of people. Plaster this group here. Plaster this, and plaster this group. Just be sure for a friendly fire. Because sometimes you can do that. It's accidental, but that... But that balloon in the middle, not really making life easy for anyone. 
All right, so basically cleared most of them. And this is the base. This is it. This is it. We need to hook into the line now. This is it. There is no one else. This is the end of the mission. All right, so press F to link in the skyhook. And this is where everything being related with. This is where the whole decision making thing comes. So basically, this rocket launcher hit. And both of your teammates are. Well. They're not in a good shape. Now, we're doing the ashes to ashes one where we're gonna anyways end up killing all of them. So, to reduce the numbers, we're just gonna let both die. Yeah. It does. This choice. Uh, wait, um. Return to safe house. We don't want to continue the story. Return to safe house. Yeah, okay, so, as I was saying, this choice seems to have a lot of consequences and stuff, but no, it's, you get, if you choose Park, you get some unique dialogue in the next mission, and if you choose Lazar, again, some unique dialogues here and there, and there's, you'll get like an apparition sort of thing in the next mission that, that's basically, it's hardly of any consequence if you let them die. But if you with, if you let them live, you have one extra enemy to face on Ashes to Ashes mission. So, well, because we're doing that first, I am just gonna let both of them die. It's I mean, even with one of them alive, Ashes to Ashes is like child's play of a mission. So mm, doesn't really matter. But well, to make things much more simpler, I guess we can do that. Alrighty, so, uh, yeah, well, that's basically it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and if you did, please be sure to leave a like. A comment is definitely appreciated, and definitely, definitely, please do not forget to subscribe. Make sure you just scroll down right now and hit that subscribe button. It really means a lot, and it doesn't cost you anything at all. So, uh, yeah. Uh, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys have a wonderful and safe day. And I'll catch you guys in the next vid. Peace out.